All right, you guys, this is how I'm folding these hearts. You can see it's scored, and I have these score marks here, which I know you guys can't see, but hopefully you can use this as a guideline, or I'm thinking hopefully there are the opposite on the back of this heart. Um, if there are some score lines on the back of this, that would really help you guys out a lot. So you might want to consider printing it that way uh, if that helps you. All right, so as you can see, mine are not pre-folded. Mine is a pretty much flat piece. But I know that the blue, make sure you can see this, the blue here is a mountain fold and the green is a valley fold. So what I do is I start on one side so I start with all the blues first. I don't know if you can see this. So I'm starting on one side on all the blues, including the little tiny ones. And there were a couple on the sides here. Position my hand so you can see what I'm doing here. And the best way for me to fold these is I'm putting my finger on the back of it and I'm creasing it with my nail as it pops through on the other side, I crease it. So my goal here is to get everything pre-folded and obviously it's not taking shape yet, but you are one step ahead of me because at least you have these score lines going the correct direction, whereas me right now, I am having to put those creases in myself. miss anything here. There's a bunch down here at the bottom. And be very attentive to those little tiny ones because those really do help form the boxes when you get to the final stages here. Okay, so this is what mine looks like so far, and it's basically only the mountain folds that I did first. Forgot a few over here on the side. All right, so it's kind of taking on this shape right here. Now I'm going to go in and start with the valley folds, and as you start these valley folds, you're going to see things begin to take shape right away. So I'm going to start in the upper left hand corner on those big pieces and see how this piece, this piece here already pops out with the first valley fold. And we have another valley fold there. And another valley fold here. So I'm going for the big pieces first. And just be attentive to your, your valleys and your mountains because you're going to see things begin to pop into shape. So if you can see this here, there's a little square that's wanting to take shape here. So just be aware that most of these lines going down are in, out, in, out. So 
So again, I'm just going across and I'm folding everything in that needs to go in. So all those green valley folds on my end are being creased right now. Again, you guys are one step ahead of me because they should already be creased. It probably would be helpful to fold it like this as well with yours. Okay. I think I've got all of them creased. Now, as you can see, these have popped out and they kind of make these squares, right? The goal is to make all of them into squares like this. So you can really begin to see things take shape. Because you're going to start forcing things into square mode. So I'm going to start on this side over here again. So this wants to come out and this wants to go back. Actually, it's the other way around. Can't really see the colors. So this is what's really helpful is I'll pinch the back here and I'll pinch the front here at the same time and look it created that square shape that I'm looking for right there. Same with this little guy. You can see this. So this one's going to come forward. It's a mountain fold. This one's going to go back. It's a valley fold. So we've got this happening and this happening. And then this one right up here wants to go back. It's also a valley fold. So you can see there's another square. It's about to take shape. And that's this one right here. And basically you just go down and continue on with that. And you'll see everything kind of pop out and take shape. So I'm going to squeeze on both sides at the same time again. You'll see those squares pop up. See all of them that I've created so far? So again, I'm seizing the opportunity here. I've got a valley here and a mountain here, so I'm pinching at the same time. See that? Let go. That's the crease I just made right here, from the back right here. All right, this big one down at the bottom. You can see it's really starting to take shape now. See how these want to come up now? So I want to pinch each side here and this bottom piece wants to come out. So I pinch that there. Oops. All right, so I basically have this half done. And I'm going to continue on with this half here. So we've got a mountain fold and a valley above and a valley below. So I'm going to squeeze those two valleys really tight and then pop out that mountain. And you're going to see the square starting to take shape again. And you see how I'm moving this slightly in? It's creating this little space here. It's kind of creating that box. And you'll see the more you begin to fold this thing, the more boxes are just going to start folding in on each other like this. It's going to have the spring action, which is what you need to close it in that folder. So we have another valley here, or sorry, mountain here, valley here, mountain here. You can see on the back it's really starting to take shape. 
I would say the most intricate little parts are those little tiny folds. You just have to make sure that they're heading the right direction. All right, so I've got a mountain here, a mountain here, I'm squeezing hard. Got a valley here, squeezing from behind. And it helps to work in columns like this because you can see that this piece and this piece want to come forward and this piece wants to go back. So you can squeeze it from behind while you're pulling the other two forward. All right, we're looking good. I'm just going to go through and make sure that everything is bending the correct way. Check my lines one more time. Let's see, I want to make sure that this center part is facing the right direction. All right, and when it, when it looks like everything is folded in the correct manner, this is kind of how I begin to fold it in on itself. So it'll become a little bit spongy like this and the spongier it gets the more you can kind of close it and I just put it in one hand I'm just gonna put, pay close attention here to the edges because those are the smallest little pieces I want to make sure that those are moving in the right direction all right, so then I'm going to take the side of the heart and kind of close it in on the center. And it should fold in like this. And you can give it a little tight squeeze because everything is facing the right direction. Just be attentive to it and be gentle with it but everything should fold. And then once you do that, it's, it's pretty much ready to go. And there's your finished piece. So these two inserts here and here go into the folder and it can close. It'll still be a little springy when it closes. It probably, the folder probably won't close all the way, but at least when it opens, it can do this. See that spring action? All right, I hope this helps. Sorry, I'm not very good at videos. <laughs> good luck tonight.